Hi guys, welcome back to Springwoods RC. I'm Paul, for those who don't know me. Alright, so I'll do a little bit of a canyon update video. I've not done one for a while. Show you what I've done to a, a kind of destroyed her a little bit though today. I've been out, had a bit of a bit of a big tumble. Just turn you a little bit. I've uh, kind of Smashed me, me bar off the front. Oops, where's the other bit? There it is. <laughs> I've still got it. But, never mind. My bumper's a bit bent. You can see my bonnet, my body don't fit proper at the minute. So I think I'm gonna have to make a new bumper bracket. But forget that for now. It. Right, eh, uh, where shall I start? Right, oh, start there. My little friend, not my little you can see it. I'll bring you a little bit closer. My little red squirrel, look, he sat here on my roof. My little friend. Brought one of my lights as well this weekend. Smashed one of them off. I did find it, put it back on, but I should have stuck it in my pocket, soldered it back on, but I just stuck it back on and lost it again. Now I can't find it. Alright, we've, uh, I've cut the windows out of me, my shell, because I won't do a bit of an interior. I don't think it'll be much, because <laughs> this paddle just, just sits up just under the window line. But I'll try and figure something out. But I made this to make some little wheel arches. Let's bring you back down again, I think. Yeah. There we go. Much better. Put my light on as well. Yeah, I've put this panel on. And I've kind of made some like little mud flaps. And I've stuck a little piece in here so we can't see through it so much. I don't like being able to see through it. I've been trying to get my body to sit lower, but because of this, the bonnet won't go down. So I might have to just trim a little bit more off it. Hopefully I can keep my wheel arches. Try and get it to sit a little bit lower on the front. Hopefully it will hide my batteries. Oh yeah, look at them. The battery tray on the side. Why is there one on that side? Oh look. There's one on that side as well. Yep, running two big batteries. They're two 3S batteries they are. And two cheap ones. They've not been bad batteries actually. I got them off for uh, Banggood I think it were. They were £19 each. Looking alright. Quite last quite a while. Don't think they're quite the six hundred uh, six thousand that they're supposed to be, but right, let's take this cover off. Give it one handed. I have put four screws in it so I can screw that down. I left it unscrewed from earlier on, so I had to work on it. Right, I'm just gonna pop my camera over the top. And give you a couple of seconds to see if you notice what do you see guys do you see it oh yes two hobby wings what can two hobby wings been doing in there yes this motor's quite high you guessed it guys Yes, I've gone a twin motor. Hey, oh, there's Seti, look. Can you see? Look at that. Oh, I made myself a twin motor plate. Let's go on to the actual SCX 10 gearbox. It's mint. It's an absolute beast. That's why she was a little bit noisy last time on the videos. Uh, I actually uh, stripped my uh, top pinion gear uh, 
I think the pitch must have been different to the the main pinion and the other pinion because the, the the main spur gear that were fine the other pinion gear that was perfect it was just this top one I stripped it I think that's where all the noise was been out today with it and over at weekend she's been running great now loads of power loads of wheel speed loads of torque which I think is much better for the canyon I've had to put myself a nice big weight in the front that's my winch battery yeah. that's the big upgrade inside the heart of a got a nice powerful engine there but I have got another surprise coming the wife's treated me this weekend I can't wait till that comes right next upgrade I've done is these babies uh, they're uh, rather scratched now but believe it or not these were new on on Friday they only turned up Friday morning and it's now Monday Tuesday uh, Tuesday now we're on uh, a little bit dusty I need to give it a blow off and give it a WD I've been out playing today I've got some nice new portal axles they're uh, from Fermonda they're made by they're not too bad the only problem that I found was with this front the front diff the chrome wheel was actually moving and it had play in it on the bearings so what it needs is either some wider bearings to stop the diff chrome wheel moving or what I actually did was I just snipped a couple of screws and I wedged them down this side of the uh, the bearing to push the chrome wheel over onto the pinion gear onto the worm gear that comes onto your drive shaft and it's been mint hey, looks like I've got a screw loose there I'll have to tighten that up I've had a few teething problems over the weekend but I'm getting there it's, uh, it's all been good fun no, they mint, I do love them, quite weighty as well I think they look quite nice with my wheels now there's my canyon there's my upgrades come on, sit on <laughs> it got proper bent under it would touch in wheels I couldn't 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 drive it whatsoever God knows how many times that's been bent but oh yeah got sausage on the side now look she's on display she's on both sides The sausage wagon. <laughs> Better make a pig trailer, Anna. <laughs> That'll be a good one. All right then, guys. There you go. I've got a bit of footage from today. I might stick a little bit of that on the end of this. But you all take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, bye.